like the last video, I've kind of done something like this before, but instead of all nations starting communist, they're going to go down that part of their tree. So there's going to be a lot of revolts, and I'm assuming all the people are going to be kind of like this kid. Actually, I don't, I don't know if I can even show that. It, is that gonna, is that gonna make my channel ban faster? <laughs> also, because a lot of people have been asking me, uh, I do plan on going back and doing some history videos soon. I, uh, I'm pretty shocked at how many comments I still get about those to keep, to keep doing that. So, uh, maybe when we get to, like, 400,000 subs or something like that, I'll pick it up again. I'm also working on another Civ video pretty soon, and it's gonna be a little bit longer. Not, not, like, super long like the last one, but, uh, keep a lookout for that. So as we watch Ethiopia get killed, more than likely here, uh, I do want to remind people that in the last one, Fascism surprisingly didn't do that well, and I think we could see the same thing here. I guess it all depends, especially on Daddy Stalin. I mean, he was amazing last time, and he had to deal with his own civil war. Still pulled it out, though. Uh, I guess all the all the focus is going to be on Germany. Like, can they actually do this? Oh, wow, the answer's right in front of me. Did you guys even put up a fight? <laughs> you guys just changed instantly. You guys were quick to get rid of Angry Paint Man, which, I mean, kind of understandable. So there is going to be a Spanish Civil War this time around. I wasn't sure if we would see one, but uh, yeah, it's going to happen. Franco has a chance of maybe being the only fascist, because it looks like they're all going to start to go down. Yep, there goes Benito. I didn't think we'd see much of a resistance from him. Now I guess Japan is like the last one left. Wow, this is getting weird. I mean, in the last one, there were so many different uprisings, like instantly, but not here. They're just switching over quick. Chinese People's Republic, and also the, uh, this is just communist China. Communist Spain's going to need some help, and uh, they actually are, because both Germany and the Soviets have some volunteers but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Italy changed instantly, so when they won in Ethiopia, they decided to puppet it. We're actually going to see a lot of that. But of course, the question is, how fast are these places going to turn? I've noticed that South America tends to go pretty fast. I mean, they're already going straight down this route. Other places, not so much. I was wrong about this. Now there's three different countries helping out Jose Diaz. He's definitely making a slight comeback. Bald Spanish man might have to go commit die. Finally, another civil war took long enough. So uh, I know that the US is definitely not going down the path as fast as Mexico, obviously. Gotta keep an eye on that. I mean, they're starting it, but uh, yeah, I mean, FDR is really just not gonna roll away that easily. Either way, I don't think he's gonna get involved too much down here. He should be pretty fair for the most part. Oh, I keep forgetting this is a democratic uprising. That always happens. I don't know why I'm so confused. Also, they're getting a ton of lend -lease, so Maybe this isn't gonna be as uh, balanced as I thought. You knew they were gonna do it to him. Here come the Kami Japanese. Let's see if Hirohito can survive. Now this war does take a long time for the AI to usually clean up. I wouldn't be surprised if this takes several years. All right, maybe don't listen to me. I'm not sure, maybe, yeah, maybe never listen to me. Although keep your eyes out here because I think this is what happens here. Hirohito holds on to Tokyo and that's what saves him. That's definitely not normal. I don't think I've ever seen this where Estonia just joins the common turn without being killed instantly. Uh, okay, well, that was nice. And they did it. Okay, 100% of the credit needs to go to, like, the three countries that were really putting the team on their back. You guys didn't really do all that much. Okay, wait a second. I am very confused. Papa Stalin is just kind of annexing places now. Lithuania's gone. Also, Latvia is probably going to join the common turn. Did they? Oh, yeah, they already did. Wow. It's too much. Safe to say, this is going to be vastly different from the last campaign. I mean, all the Nordic countries have already switched. Denmark, Sweden, Norway, now Red Finland, and they'll probably join the faction too. Problem here for this ideology is uh, they don't necessarily work together. They kind of have vastly different goals. So that is... Yeah, they're, they're gonna kill each other. Let's not gloss over the fact that there are still some great powers that uh, are still chilling, democratic. I mean, France is probably, yeah, they're gonna turn soon. But the UK, US, Canada, I mean, those are just some that will likely take a long time. Actually, the entire British Commonwealth are uh, pretty resistant for the most part. I guess it's really gonna depend on like what the what the UK does. That would make a kind of a big difference. Really didn't expect the first war to be between the Haiti Socialist Republic and the Dominican People's Republic. Kind of a Kind of a letdown there, if I'm gonna be honest. There we go, thank you. Okay, so Germany's going after Czechoslovakia, and uh, Romania's helping out. Are they a part of a faction, or? No, they're probably, like, guaranteeing independence. Okay, so I'm assuming more people from Europe are gonna help out, more than likely. Thank you, Italy. Okay, so we can get this started. That'd be kind of funny if this World War II plays out, like, kind of somewhat the exact same. It's just everyone's communist now. Ouch. Okay, that... That's gotta hurt. Um, well, luckily, you know, you don't have a border with them yet until you attack Poland. It, it, I think it'll be okay for now. Wow, I'm so stupid. I really should have done some forethought before I said that. Okay, well, now things have gotten really hairy. This is, this is bad. Now, normally the German AI fails really bad when they're fighting like a big power like the Soviets, which doesn't make much sense to me, but I 
don't know. Please change my mind. I don't really know what's going on with these guys, but uh, in East Asia, Communist Japan are taking them out. And uh, also, they're about to take over the Korean Peninsula. That's kind of a big deal. And Ireland has just united. So I think that's a sign we might see some new faces pop up as uh, the UK probably decolonize. I think that's what's gonna happen. This guy probably should have made the DILF list. I don't know when he was included, but uh, a little bit further up north, things seem to be going, I guess, fine for the Axis. I mean, not that much is happening. That's actually kind of terrifying. Oh, so now they wanna leave. Well, you kinda helped him out a lot before you did that. Uh, I, I guess it's fine. They're, they'll just take back the territory. I am kinda liking these weird Soviet borders. Haven't really seen that before. We don't normally see Lithuania get annexed, so that's kind of nice. The British have released even more places, this time in the Middle East. So Egypt is now here. And uh, I mean, nothing else so far, but that's only a matter of time. And I also expect the French to do probably the same thing. It's been three years, and I don't know how much longer the US is gonna last, or Canada. It's uh, starting to get kind of close. I think a big war could break out before then though, which I mean, could be interesting. I don't really know if that's a good idea, Bulgaria, but uh, I mean, I guess do your thing. You're gonna kind of be smashed in between two scary enemies. Uh, well, they haven't joined in yet, but it's only a matter of time. Oh, that's also a new face I haven't seen yet. Okay, so again, I mean, we get to see all the new things from the expansion. I probably should have done this earlier just to see all the new portraits. Anyways, uh, goodbye, you die. Okay, yeah, no, I was kind of right about this. Hirohito has like a stronghold over Tokyo, and uh, this is gonna last probably uh, I would say maybe even the entire game, unless someone else starts helping out. And the Manchurian region just pieced out, and that was not a bad deal. They got uh, the good part of the Korean Peninsula, as well as even more land out here in the west. Oh man, okay, so I don't know if I've seen this before. I mean, I've seen the Confederacy pop up, but then there's also the neutral area up here, unaligned states of- <laughs> Really, guys, you couldn't come up with anything more original? I would have liked Swiss USA. And the Brits have basically lost everything. This is odd. Uh, also, France, what are you doing? You at war with Italy? I didn't hear about that. Are you, oh, they probably joined the common turn, didn't they? Yes, they did, but this is going to make things a little bit harder for at least a while. Usually the Soviets can handle this and they do it quickly, but maybe the Germans can capitalize. Okay, so probably not. I doubt it. I think the Axis is facing just too many enemies all at once. Uh, also, China's getting into something very small, not a big deal, but these two kind of fighting. That's kind of odd. Venezuela going after the Dutch for this island. I don't know how necessary that is, guys, but okay. So this is all happening at once. The US joined the allies, uh, and they are very far away from turning to communism. I mean, there might be an uprising, but it won't be that tough. Canada still has a while to go too. Uh, so does the UK now, especially with Churchill in power. He's probably not gonna wanna do that. The French did switch though. So that's kind of one major loss. Oh no, <laughs> no way. <laughs> So Hungary joined the Allies because they are actually fascists still. I I don't see how, but uh, this could pull in that entire team. Okay, so things just got really interesting, especially in North America. Can the USA without this region beat the CSA and Mexico? That actually might be a little bit closer. They have Canada's help, so that, that's gonna be a little bit better. I forgot to mention that all these are puppets, so they still are gonna help out the UK. It's just, uh, I mean, it's not gonna be one government controlling all of this. It, that might've helped actually. Germany is now just starting to kind of break through. They're in Romania and actually starting to push slightly into Soviet lands. Problem is Italy, as it always is, they're kind of lagging behind. Also, the French front has just stopped. It has not gone anywhere. I guess we'll see whenever Germany decides to attack Benelux, but I think it'll go after Poland first. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright, so the US took two states back, but they just decided to puppet the rest? Logic. Logic. Okay, yeah, that's probably why. It's weird that they would still do that. They turned communists during the middle of a civil war. I mean, this was their former land. That doesn't seem right. They probably should have took all this back. Still, I mean, I like it. And what makes it even better is that the South is democratic. So they are being... <laughs> held against their will against a communist USA as the, the CSA, they're still holding on to that freedom. It's starting to look really bad for Mexico. They're fighting everything in the North and now a unified Central America? That is not common, but I love this. The Germans are only taking more and more land from the Soviets. This is kind of scary. How hilarious would that be if Stalin lost this one, but he won the other one? All right, good news and bad news. Poland joined the Comintern, which means the Axis are I mean, I guess that could be kind of double good news. You should be able to take them out pretty easily. They're also going to get rid of France soon. 
I think they finally broke through. Interesting how India kind of just peacefully let everyone go. I feel like we've always seen some sort of civil war between Pakistan and, and Bangladesh, like whenever they pop up. No, not this time. Partition of France is taking place and uh, it's a weird one. Belgium got some stuff, so did the UK, Italy as well, and then Germany took everything else. Not bad. Okay, I didn't think anything was gonna happen here, but there was an uprising and uh, it's a communist uprising, even though a majority of their people's democratic still. Uh, yeah, Pakistan's gonna help them, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's going on. A fourth team has popped up and uh, for some reason the Dutch joined that. Well, they, they joined because they didn't have an option. Germany went after them. Strangely, you know, Belgium and Luxembourg, they were fine with joining the Axis. And it's now official. Stalin is going to lose this game. The universe is now balanced again, just how Thanos would want it. Uh, I, I cannot believe the commentator was looking so powerful. It felt like they were just getting members left and right. They're about to capitulate though. It's over, the dark deed is done. And uh, because everyone's communist, there's just gonna be a ton of puppets, kind of annoying. I. I'm gonna miss some fascism after this. They just gave that Russian uprising everything, which I guess is fine. Sometimes it's more fun when Germany takes a lot of it and gives some to their friends. But uh, all right, India was also annexed, so that didn't work. Or that's the old India, that's not aligned India. Anyways, the only shocker is here in Mexico. Uh, I guess Central America ended up doing more work than the US and Canada, because that's the only explanation why they'd be a part of the Axis. I mean, maybe they sent some volunteers to help fight in the North. That's why they, I don't know, man, I don't know. I love how there's still some holdouts though. There's still some strongholds for not aligned or democratic. The entire world didn't just turn communist and that's what makes this still kind of exciting. Canada, the CSA of all places and uh, of course the UK, I, I think. I think it'll stay like that too. It's probably my favorite team though. I've never seen this pop up before and uh, I like that it's kind of the only ones left that is truly I think almost entirely democratic or just about. Cause the allies definitely aren't. They've got a whole lot of socialist members in that one. But uh, this is like my favorite thing, I guess. If, if you need to escape from all of this, consider the Confederacy. <laughs> Sounds fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time. A big thanks to Free Cruise, LVC, Destiny, F 9000, Paint Me Like You Do Your Sheila, Elijah Senpai, Crucification, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Moak, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon H, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky G, Jared Clark, Battle Buddy 1847, Andrea Moss, Sleeper 56. Thank you.